What is the number one factor that deters you when decorating your home? The answer is probably budget. Budget can be such a serious constraint, but in today's video, I'm sharing nine stores you should be shopping at if you're dealing with a smaller budget. Budget doesn't have to hold you back. These are some fantastic stores that can help you achieve the Lux look for less. Before we get into today's video though, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Instagram at keepitupfriend. Let's get into today's video. The first store I want you to check out if you're working with a lower budget is Kirkland's. So if you've never heard of Kirkland's, that's okay. It's kind of farmhouse central. Some people are like, oh, like old McDonald's chic. No, they have tons of great stuff. So don't write off a store just because you don't agree or you don't like their design style. The first item you should definitely pick up from Kirkland's is this Bordeaux mirror. Kirkland's has tons of great mirrors and this particular mirror is 63 inches tall, which is a really, really good size floor mirror, especially if you have standard eight foot ceilings. So this mirror goes for $400 and it looks very similar to the RH Gilt mirror, the mirrors from Anthropology, those Primrose mirrors, all of those really ornate gold mirrors. This looks identical. Now the next item category that you need to check out at Kirkland's is the lamp. So Kirkland's has fantastic lamps. Yes, a lot of them are very, very, very farmhouse, but I will say that they have the exact same lamps as Pottery Barn. I don't know if they're using the same manufacturer or what, but you're going to get that Pottery Barn look for less. But they have a lot of contemporary lamps that I'm really in love with. They're all honestly dupes from Restoration Hardware. And I know we don't talk about Restoration Hardware dupes as much because the store isn't as popular, but it is food for thought there because they really do have some stunning lamps. So I'll put them all up on the screen here, but these lamps are killing it. And I think that they are really affordable they'd be great in a study on a console on a side table in a bedroom they all look really 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 high end the last thing you need to start picking up from Kirkland's is actually wall art but Kirkland's actually has a ton of modern and contemporary art and I'm just gonna say it I'm gonna say it their printing is better than Great Big Canvas. I used to be a huge Great Big Canvas fan. I am not anymore because the quality has just gone way, way, way down. But you get tons of dimension with this wall art from Kirkland's. Um, a lot of it is black and white. They have green and white and they're actually very, very generous sizes and they all come framed. The next store you need to start shopping at if you're working with a smaller budget is Joanne. So I know we only think about fabric and faux florals when it comes to Joanne, but they have tons of amazing products. So the first thing I want you to start picking up from Joanne is the peel and stick tile and you're like what well if you are a renter or you just want to do something temporary because you don't know how long you're going to live in your home we love peel and stick solutions because we get to get the little pizzazz without doing something that is going to cost us a lot of money to do or without doing something that's permanent that will cost us a lot of money to fix so they have fantastic peel and stick tiles at joanne that is the actually first place i ever got a peel and stick tile before i really started my diy journey that's actually where it all started so they have really great ones they're 16 dollars, 21 dollars um you're getting more of them than you get in like the target dollar spot or at dollar tree so i know that they're not super expensive but you get more bang for your buck because it just covers more square footage now something else you need to pick up from joanne you probably already know this but i have to say it they are the vases so joanne has fantastic fantastic vases they have ones that look just like kelly worsler they have ones that look just like crate and barrel ones that look just like pottery barn ones that look like just like West Elm. But again, they aren't charging an arm and a leg for them because most of the people who are going into Joanne, that's not what they're looking for. Most of those people are looking for a nice, clear, you know, glass vase to pour some resin in to do like their floral arrangements. They don't want the studded vases. They don't want like the really organic curd vases. That's not what they're looking for. So they almost always are on clearance and Joanne has a truckload of coupons. So if you do not have the Joanne app, you're doing yourself a disservice. They normally have a 40% off, a 20% off. They always have some deal on on top of clearance. You can use lots and lots and lots of coupons together. I'm telling you, you are going to love these vases. Some of my most asked about vases in my home are actually from Joanne. Now, out of all the stores I'm gonna talk about today, this one gets the worst wrap and I really don't know why. So the next store you should start shopping at if you have a lower budget is Big Lots. And I'm gonna tell you a story. When we first moved into our condo, our condo building needed some outdoor furniture and our HOA president said, oh no, we would never get it from Big Lots. Well, Big Lots has the most fantastic outdoor furniture and again, exact same as those other retailers. You can pick it up same day or they have contractors affiliated with them. Um, if you have like bad credit or you don't have great credit and you wanna get something, you can get it from Big Lots, you can finance those things. And I think that that's fantastic because I love that they make things that are accessible to all people. So their outdoor cushions are fantastic. My grandmother is a stan. Like every single time we drive to Baltimore to go see her, she's like, I don't wanna see you. I want you to take me to Big Lots so we can get some more cushions. So they have great 
great outdoor furniture. It holds up really well. They have a great um, umbrellas, fire pits, the whole nine yards. They also have really fantastic outdoor vases and their faux plants are pretty good as well. So if you need something for your outdoor space, definitely check out Big Lots. Now, Big Lots also has regular furniture. So they have beds, they have... Um, dressers all of that i will say the quality there isn't fantastic i would say that some of the sofas are definitely a little bit better than ikea in terms of comfort but i'm not sure that they're better in terms of durability but that outdoor furniture i can really stand behind in terms of quality last but certainly not least they actually have really really good media consoles that have built-in fireplaces so that is something that has become really really trendy as of late and we love that look but getting a fireplace can be really expensive a lot of them on their own not even in a media console are 500 $600, $700. Well, at Big Lots, you can get a really nice um, ornate mantle with a built-in fireplace for like $250, $300. They also have more modern ones, so you can get anything that is kind of like stylistically hip from Big Lots and a lot of them they have on the floor that you can take home or they have them in the back. The next store you should start shopping at if you're working with a lower budget is Ross Dress for Less. So I love Ross. Honestly, I think their clothes are great, right? They're great. Babe always gets some really fantastic dresses from there. They sell Nike and Champion, all those places, but without a premium. I'm telling you, I bought some body butter by the body shop there for $9 the other day. It's normally like $20. Anyway, I digress. Ross Dress for Less has some really, really great home decor. So the first thing I want you to look at out for when you're at Ross Dress for Less is the artwork. So the artwork, they have pretty good artwork, but if you don't love the artwork, sometimes we want like a framed piece of art to DIY over and that can get expensive. You can get them at Ross Dress for Less really affordably. Most of their art ranges between like 20 and 60 bucks and you can get some really, really, really massive pieces. The last thing I encourage you to pick up from Ross is actually an accent rug. So not their big wall-to-wall -wall rugs. I don't really love them, but they have really great accent rugs. If you like jute, if you like faux fur, they always have something really fantastic at Ross. Now today we're not talking about Dollar Tree, but we are talking about Five Below because Five Below is a great resource if you're working with a lower budget. Five Below has great accent rugs. They have great wall tapestry. So if you're looking for a wall tapestry, you need a large piece of art, consider a tapestry, consider a blanket, use some curtain hardware or even like a command strip to hang it up on the wall and you can get a really glorious piece of artwork that way. Five Below also has some really great decorative accents from time to time, whether they be um, rattan shelves or a little vase or bowl or something to that effect. But I really love their storage items because they make great um, cloth and acrylic storage. So if you're trying to get organized, it is a great option for you. Now this next one goes without saying, but the next place you should start shopping if you have a lower budget is Target. So Target has really great high quality furniture. So if you need dining chairs or bar stools, that's probably where I would direct you to start. Now I will also say that Target tends to have a lot of clearance items at the end of their aisles. And sometimes it is furniture you just have to be on the lookout for that yellow tag. So sift through those items. Um, and don't be afraid to go to multiple Targets. They have a lot of great things. Now something I would never pick up from Target is actually artwork. So don't pick that up but their dining chairs, their media consoles, and honestly their vases tend to be really great steals. Next, we must talk about Ikea. So you guys know I am a huge Ikea fan and I can talk about all of their products that I love, but I wanna highlight the ones that are the best quality. So first we have those pillowcases. If you really wanna elevate your sofa, if your sofa is really basic, the best way to kind of cover it up and make it look a little bit more beautiful is to add some good pillowcases. So of course you gotta use the Fajadra inserts. I'm sorry if I pronounce that incorrectly, I'm not Swedish, but I try. The next thing that I always love to pick up from Ikea um, is the mirror. They make really fantastic mirrors. Um, the Nissadol, for example, is probably the most popular mirror like on the internet, and that is from Ikea. They make two different sizes, two different colors. It's great above your nightstands, in your entryway. Anywhere you need a mirror, you can get one from Ikea. Now, if you need a dresser and you need a durable dresser and you need one that may double as a media console or something else, check out the Moms. They are increasing in price because I think the hacks are becoming a lot more popular, but you cannot do anything better than the mom dresser unless you're willing to spend like $2,000 on a dresser. The next store you should definitely start shopping at if you're working with a lower budget is TJ Maxx slash Marshall slash Home Goods. I'm not really going to touch on Home Goods because I know that most of you shop at Home Goods. So I know when we think about TJ Maxx and Marshalls, we mostly think clothing. We mostly think clothing, and when we think about home decor, we think more farmhouse. But I want you to start going there for bedding. So they have fantastic bedding. They have Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, or Ralph Lauren, however you'd like to say it. Vera Wang. They have some of the really, really, really fantastic bedding brands 
at TJ Maxx in the exact same quality as you'd find at Macy's and luxury stores. Now, TJ Maxx also should be your go-to place for organization materials. They have fantastic organization materials. Again, all those luxury brands, you're finding them there. And an organized home is a luxurious home because if everything has a place, then we can work on making things look beautiful. But if we're not organized, it's really hard to make things look beautiful because there's so much upkeep that is required. Now, the last store you should definitely start shopping at if you're working with a lower budget it is Amazon. So sure, Amazon is an online marketplace, but you guys know they have fantastic products. I'm not going to talk about all of them, um, but you know what they are already. And if you don't know what they are, I have an Amazon storefront that you can check out where I have all of my favorite selections and all the things that I have in my home. Okay, you guys, that's it for today's video. I gave you nine stores you should start shopping at if you're working with a lower budget. I'm actually going to put all of my favorites from these stores down in the description box so you can go check them out. I hope you're walking away from today's video knowing that regardless of your budget, you can achieve the luxe look for less because that is what I'm all about here. If you like today's video, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I love having you here and I have new videos for you every Monday and Thursday. Until next time, have a beautiful day.